So now we're going to be combining like terms. We're just going to we're just going to be looking at maybe some expressions. And if the degree, well, I guess it's more like the exponent of each of the exponents is the same, and the exponents are the same for any terms, then we add those together. That may or may not make sense right now, but uh, we have to have matching variables and exponents in order to combine different terms. Uh, if we're multiplying and dividing different terms, we don't actually care if the exponents are the same or even the powers. We can multiply straight across. Now, if we end up adding and subtracting uh, different terms and we get a coefficient of zero, we just eliminate it. All right. Combine like terms and write the polynomial in descending order of degree. So we're going to add these two together. And for addition of polynomials, as it turns out, uh, well, the parentheses aren't really necessary. So I'm going to get rid of those. That's only for addition, though. All right. If we're subtracting, we kind of have to look at it like we're distributing a negative 1 into the parentheses. Let's just change the signs on the inside of the parentheses. So let's look at this first term. We've got an x squared. We can make that a 1x squared if it makes us feel better. Are there any other x squareds? Well, here's one right here. So looking at these, I would have 1x squared plus the other 2x squared. And when I combine these, I would have 3 total x squared. All right, let's go to the next term. So I'm just moving from left to right on these. And the next term is a positive 1xy. So I'm looking for any other terms that have just an x and a y. There are no powers for the x and y. I mean, you could say there's one there, but we've made it a phantom one. And the other like term would be this negative 4xy. So we have a positive 1xy minus a 4xy. So this term is going to have an xy. And again, we're just working with the coefficients there. So 1 minus 4 would give us a negative 3xy. All right, moving on, we got this y squared, which would be a negative 1y squared. And it uh, looks like we're going to combine this with this 7y squared. So I got a negative 1y squared plus a 7y squared. When I combine these two, I'll still have a y squared. But I've got negative 1 plus 7, which would be a positive 6. Um, the degree for all three of these terms is 2. So we can just say that's descending order. And this one, since all the terms have the same degree, it really wouldn't matter which order you write them in. I don't know that the homework's going to be more picky about that than I am, but that'll do.